So today I want to give uh, Majestic Red Dragon a shot. This could be pretty difficult. This could be kind of hard to do. Uh, not the easiest card. To, not the easiest basically monster summon in the world, but pretty fun when it works. Um, so Majestic Red Dragon is a new uh, card we got from the Five Days Chronicle events. Um, like last time before we got Majestic Dragon, Majestic Star Dragon. Now we have Majestic. Before we got like Majestic Star Dragon. Now we have Majestic Red Dragon, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna be trying that today. So basically, what Majestic uh, Red Dragon does, it's a Majestic Dragon, uh, Red Dragon Archfiend, and one more or one or plus sorry plus one non tuner monster. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. After damage, card discard attacks. Destroy all defense position monsters on the field. Necessarily not probably gonna matter too much unless you're running unless they're running like. Uh, sub terrors maybe <laughs> if that ever happens you don't see much anymore once turn you can target one face up monster opponent controls to negate its effects if you do this card gets attack equal to that monster's attack pretty crazy the, uh, this these changes last until the end of this turn during the end phase target one red dragon archfiend in your graveyard to return that this card to the deck or return that this card to the extract and then special summon it so this is very much a one card a one card combo thing or a one turn uh, one OTK basically turn you need to to do with this guy because it goes back to the deck you do get red dragon archfiend again but um yeah you want to basically not do this on your first turn because you're just gonna waste it and it's just gonna go back into the extra deck and it's gonna kind of be like eh, not too great um but yeah so for the whole deck that we are using today is we have one sangan a uh, double red resonator three majestic dragons uh three red warg uh, two f or three force resonators and three boost warriors, uh, three cosmic cyclones, one hate grenade, and then one treacherous trap hole and finish deck. Obviously, majestic red dragon, two red dragon archfiend, one stardust dragon, two red rising dragon, and then one dark end dragon. Whoops. Um. Uh, um. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the deck. Um. Obviously, we have boost warrior as our extra level one with our majestic dragon. We are using majestic light, obviously, because it's a great skill. Um, it is a hard monster to summon, but definitely with the support that we have in Duel Links, it makes it a little bit easier. Majestic Light, basically, you can be used by returning one tuner monster in your hand or deck. Play one Majestic Dragon from your deck. Easy summon. You don't have to worry about getting that extra special summon on the board. Once you have a Red Dragon Archfiend and you have a tuner in your hand, you can turn, uh, you know... To, to to your deck, then you can play one Majestic Dragon, and obviously Boost Warrior is really good because if you control a face up two in a monster, you can special this card in face up defense position. So again, that's your two level ones that you need with Red Dragon Archfiend for that easy summon. Uh, red Warrior, a red sorry, Red Resonator and Red Warg is the combo that I've got going. I wish I had my third Red Resonator. Actually, I recently got my second Red Resonator. Um, I wish I got my third one. We're gonna rock with two uh, instead because this is really good. The, the nice thing about Red Resonator or Red Warg, sorry, is when you normal summon a Resonator monster, you can special this card from your hand. So it doesn't. You don't have to rely on the normal summon. You can special summon level four because obviously he's level six. So you don't have to rely on that too much because if you have Force Resonator, uh, you have your Red Warg um as well so that's obviously six and then seven and eight and obviously seven and eight uh you don't really want to play the special level four or lower you want to make sure to don't activate that because um you don't need it um whoops sorry guys you don't need it um because you have your your other combos we have your combo reward we're obviously using sangan for just one sangan because instead of my third red resonator third red resonator as a searcher for uh, pretty much anything you really want. You can Red Rising Air can search for, or Sangang can search for anything in this deck because um, they're all 1500 or lower. Uh, it's good. This is just a good card, I suppose, if you're going first. Um, it's good to just for extra. It honestly works as a double up as an extra defense as well because if you're going first, you don't want to do the combo. Uh, you don't want to summon Red <laughs> Majestic Red Dragon. It doesn't work. Um, so you can set that in an edge turn. You can go for that. Uh, a lot of back row removal in this deck because you need it. Uh, there is so. This deck falls easy easy to back row uh stuff like like stuff like floodgate and drowning mirror force and everything just ruins this deck uh you can uh so yeah you need that but you can't avoid certain cards because can't be struck by card effects you can't avoid certain cards but like it's kind of you're, you're kind of getting lucky whether that actually happens or not um that's honestly pretty much it for the deck uh oh yeah i want to talk about this guy as well i definitely i was wanted to use this guy but i you can't, it only works for Stardust, so we could definitely, if, I might try Majestic, uh, Star Dragon, Stardust, Dra Star Dragon again with, uh, Stardust Shaolong, because I think Shaolong is actually a really, really good card, and it acts as an extra kind of boost warrior protection, or extra boost warrior card, uh, so when you sync or summon a Stardust Dragon, you can special this card from your graveyard, and face up attack position, it kind of, it's, 
Yeah, one percent of this card is would be Strobe Bell is not straight. That kind of counteracts for each other, um, a little bit. But if you said, it, I think it, it's a fact I want to activate. Um, so yeah, stuff that I want to try there with that. Uh, I just thought I'd mention that. Not not important for today's video, but we're gonna go on to the ladder here, and hopefully we can do the combo. If I can get a couple duels going, I think I would be pretty happy. Um, because this is gonna be kind of difficult to do. But uh, yeah, let's go and jump in with the first duel. All right, guys, we're gonna jump in with the first duel. We're gonna see if we can get this going. I feel like I'm gonna be I'm probably losing a lot with this deck, but, um, I don't mind too much, um, I think it should be pretty fine, it should be cool, if you can just get a couple good wins, I'll be happy with it, um, it should be fine, like, I don't really expect to have this as a top tier deck, you know, on my channel, but it's just gonna be a lot of fun, that's actually not a terrible hand, honestly, it's a pretty good hand, uh, Fort, Fort Wolf, break for you, I had a really, the first duel, I lost it, unfortunately, but it was, this is gonna sound weird, I, Ooh, this is kind of rough, isn't it? Um, it has the Battle of Monster, though, so it's not too bad. Can we? We can work with this really easily. Uh, we can't work with it, though. We can't because we don't have... Discard Balance Pawns Monster. A monster attack becomes zero. Oh, yeah. Um... So we have the f combo, but we need a level one. So I'm actually gonna set this, and I think I'll set this as well, and then end my turn. I think we should be fine. Uh, maybe. Um, I had a fort really good duel, like a really really good duel. It was so good. Um, but because I think I lose this actually. Never mind. I think I actually lose this. Uh, yeah, I lose this because I didn't have the um. Because I didn't have uh, maybe twenty thirty nine. I don't lose this. Uh, because I didn't have. Well, he can't activate Nether Souls effect anymore. Well, that was stupid of him. Then he. Then I definitely don't lose. And he can't special summon the token to my void. He's gonna leave that, isn't he? No, he's attacks into it. Um, but because all because I didn't. Uh, we won't boost more. All because I didn't target the um. Or was it because I didn't top deck a uh, cosmic aura or a thing? I didn't get it, and it was so frustrating because it was so good. Um, it was against Dark Lords. It was a weird Dark Lord variation, but uh, tip, of course, of course, of course, it doesn't matter. But it's still frustrating. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go Force Resonator here. And then we're gonna go Red Wargs effect. I should be able to do this. I think I should win. Uh, so go Red Warg. I should win here. There's no back row. My problem is I feel like he's going to surrender. Uh, I still got it. Like, I still got the effect, but... Um, I feel like he will surrender. Maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. Maybe he'll let it happen. Maybe he'll be like, you know what? Let's see this. I haven't seen it yet, so maybe I'll be like, let's check it out. Maybe he doesn't know what it does. Maybe he does. He probably does. He's not... I wouldn't say he lives under a rock. Um... I really want this to work, because if this does work, this is going to be really sick. So we're going to obviously negate this guy's effect. And then gain the attack point, and then we win. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We finally got it to work. Not too bad so far, though. I've only lost a couple times, but not too bad. That was really good. Sick. Alright guys, we're going to jump in with the second duel. We got a win under our belt there, which is pretty good. Uh, finally got it to work. Um, I'm so annoyed that I didn't get to have that Dark Lord. Those two duels right away would have been so sick. Uh, Odeon is like a worst matchup for me because... I mean, Trap Monsters aren't exactly the biggest issue in the world, but the... The big boy is a problem. Um, this is also just a terrible hand. Oh my god. Um... This is really bad. Like, this is terrible. Um, but yeah, it is such a bad match. That was so bad. I could... It would have been really good. Uh, and I think he's left anyway, so who cares, right? <laughs> I think our boy has left the building for some reason. I don't know why. He maybe just decided to leave. Oh, he has connection issues, so... I should probably look at the connection symbol, right? Guys, I'm gonna jump in with the second duel. Uh, this should be pretty 
interesting. This is we got a really good for, uh, first duel, a really good first duel in the belt there. I'm um, still so annoyed that I didn't get to include that uh, Archfiend, Archfiend, uh, that Dark Lord deck because that would have been such a good win for us. That would have been so good, but we didn't get to include it in, so it kind of sucks. Uh, let's see what we got here though. Walker was in the graveyard. It could be. Ooh, this is almost good, but we need a boost warrior. We really just need boost warrior. Uh, maybe I should have put in another level one, in instead. Nah, I think that's fine. I think what we have is what we were working with is still fine. It's just I don't know. I'm still kind of tweaking the deck a little. I still want to tweak the deck a bit, but I think what we're rocking with is probably okay. Uh, ooh, that double back row, that triple back row. All right. And there's the boost warrior, of course. <laughs> of course you get a god tier hand, and then he has the boost warrior. Uh it's 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 Oh god, it's one hundred percent arrow mages, but it's one hundred percent a heavy ass arrow mage back row. Uh we're so done for here. This just isn't going to work. I know we've lost this one, like I'm thinking I drop a cosmic and um, put in another hate runade instead. Uh, I think hate runades probably a bit better. Uh, whoops! I can deal with tried wins and healing wins. I don't care or blessed wins. That's fine. All those are fine because they don't really target me too much. But if I have anything like karma cut, I guarantee you there's karma cut in here. Karma cuts in here. There's no. That's why I lost the first Dark Lord video as well because or the Dark Lord duel video. Dark Lord duel because I had karma cut. Or Floodgate. It's going to be a second Floodgate, I think. So let's go Majestic Light. I, I feel like I have the ratio. I feel like with my deck, though, I have the ratio uh, for getting the cards that I need down pretty darn well. Uh, down pretty darn well. Um, But my only downside is... Downside to the deck is I don't have... um. I don't have the back row. Uh, great. The removal from my back row isn't great. Let's see if he floodgates me. <laughs> He's gonna floodgate me. I know he is. Oh, he didn't. I'm gonna get screwed. Uh, Paleozo Canadia. Alright. <laughs> Sick. Ah, uh, jeez. His effect won't activate, so it's fine. I mean, a 3000 beater isn't. Or three thousand defense monster is nothing. It's nothing to really laugh at. That's pretty good. Oh my god. Uh, so give me hatronade. Hmm. Damn it. I. Uh, he's gonna flood get me, isn't he? Well, we're gonna get constantly screwed over by the back row here. He. I feel like I have a sneaking suspicion that we're gonna be. Stalling. Okay, he lets it go through. He lets it go through. Look, we got the dub. It's not crazy dub or anything, but we got it. Um, we got it. It's fine. It's honestly fine. I'm. I think it's pretty good that we hit the floodgate. Honestly, uh, I think it's pretty good that we hit that floodgate. Uh, he had more though. Ooh, it's toolbox. I think it might have been. I don't know. Maybe it was cosmic. That's pretty heavy background. I feel like we got off scot free on that one. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, let's go in with the third duel then. Let's go in third one. Uh, I haven't seen any like Desperado uh, yet, so that's kind of no That's kind of good. That's kind of annoying. No, I don't want to see Desperado. Uh, that's kind of good though. Though you haven't seen Desperado. To be fair, I can negate Desperado's effect, but when you gain your rank, and we're going first. Not great combo. Not a great combo, but a pretty decent hand. Yo, ooh, with hatred in it. Okay, this this is really good. This is a really good hand. Like, well, not a really good hand. I actually no, I'm jumping the gun a bit. I don't have a resonator. Oh man, it's six sams. It's six sams. Uh, it's six sams. Okay, he doesn't have the tuner, which we're fine with. He doesn't have the tuner. We have to take red warg. We can't take a tuner. We have to take red warg. If we top deck. Tuner, if we top deck red, red, it doesn't, it has to, if it, it has to be red resonator or force resonator. Well, obviously, it's the only resonators we have. We need a resonator. Um, please give me one. Hells to the hell, yeah. I think we might have this. We're gonna hit Trunade. Get all these cards back to the hand. I feel like he has, uh, say Trunade. Yeah, there's not much he can do with Hit Trunade. Okay, we're not, 
Well, the thing is, you can use Resonator's effect if you want to. You can hard summon Boost Warrior, but we don't need to do that. You can, like, hard summon Boost Warrior. Uh, if you want, it doesn't really matter. Let's see if he grabs the... The leaf. Honestly, I'm... We, I think we have the dub here. Like, I legit think we have the dub. Uh, like, honestly... I'm not saying that we do, because there's obviously other factors that can play. I mean, it's most likely that we have one, but, like, there obviously is Spheric Rebels. Spheric Rebels it still exists. Not saying he has it, most likely doesn't, but it does exist. Just put it that way, it does exist. Um, it does exist. I feel like some people maybe don't leave because they want, like... Uh, they want to see it. Maybe they're like, ooh, this is kind of cool. You got this to work. I like that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I guess I can just tag into that one. No Sphere Crabo. Exactly 4k. Exactly the right amount of life points that we needed to get that dub. And the rank up as well. And the freaking rank up. I'm getting really lucky today. Holy hell. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna call things there for the video today. It was a really, really good video. I'm really happy with how things turned out. Uh, we got really lucky. I think I more luck than anything. We got lucky with the duels that we had. Uh, pretty good. Really fun to do. Majestic Star Dragon. Uh, Majestic Red Dragon, I gotta say, is a lot more fun than, than Majestic Star Dragon. Uh, just because of the simple fact of, as well... It, this is obviously can't destroy card effects, but also the fact that it can target a monster and gain that negated effects and then gain the attack, which leads for more easy OTKs. Whereas this thing, you can't do that. You just have a 3800 beat stick. And even then, like, the OTKs are difficult to get with this because you have... it During the end phase, um, um, it goes back to the deck. Obviously, you can negate monster effects with this guy as well, but you can't actually gain any sort of attack. And boost with it, so that kind of sucks. Um, so you have no choice but that thing to go back into the deck. Um, but with Majestic Red Dragon, I think you have a little bit more utility because you have the negate the effect and can't be destroyed and gains the attack. So it can, <laughs> on top of already a 4000 beat stick, I think is pretty darn crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end things there. And uh, so I might try Majestic all after that being said about trashing this card a lot but i might try and bring it back with star to shell long because i kind of want to see if that works uh it could be kind of cool so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button if you really enjoyed hit the subscribe button follow me on twitter down below and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out guys